So we've got our lights set up. The next step is to go to the render menu. We'll tear that off to the side of the screen. Open up render properties and make sure ambient occlusion is turned on. That will render us an ambient occlusion pass. I will leave the BPR ambient occlusion settings at their defaults. We'll go to the BPR shadow settings and make sure to turn the angle slider up. I've got mine set to 21 and that just gives me a softer edge to the shadow. If this is turned down too low, you're going to get a very hard edge to your shadow. So I'm going to turn off ambient occlusion just so I can do a quick render and show you. If we go to our shadow settings here and turn angle down to zero and then do a render, There you can see we have a very harsh, hard edge on our shadows. If I turn angle up and then render again, and you'll notice that this doesn't actually cost anything in terms of render time. Uh, it's not like raising your render rays. This is you know, pretty much a, a free setting that you can adjust. There you go. You get a much softer edge to that shadow that's much more natural. So with your shadow settings applied, ambient occlusion turned on. The next step is to go to the BPR button here in the upper right hand corner of the screen and simply press it. And we press the BPR button, we're going to end up under BPR render pass with these render passes. You'll have shaded, depth, shadow, ambient occlusion, and mask. Once we've got these render passes here, they're just going to be automatically placed once we complete the BPR render click each one and then just save it by its default name. 